before you even engage in sexual activity, you do want to make sure that um, the clitoris is erect or the clitoris has the proper blood flow to receive and fully feel the pleasure that, you know, the clit deserves. Celine Love 247 and if you are new to my channel make sure that you subscribe my channel is about human sexuality lifestyle beauty um comedy it's just I have an array of videos for you guys and I'm so so excited to share more content with you so please subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned for the video so guys so today's video is about navigating the clit crevices finding your hot spot or you could sex toy for dummies like you could name it a lot of things you know why because i'm gonna be sharing so much information that you probably haven't ever heard of so let's just start off what is your clit so your clit is basically the pleasure center of a woman's body the clit is the only organ on your body that's just for pleasure it is not a a reproductive organ a reproductive organ is your vagina and your breasts for males is the penis your breasts are selected when you have your child and your vagina of course you um, give birth through that but with your clit your clit isn't none of that your clit <laughs> the only the only damn responsibility for that thing is to receive pleasure and that is the biggest thing that I want people to know your clit is to receive pleasure so the clitoris is highly highly sensitive it is an organ that has around 8,000 nerves. Well, some people's clitoris isn't sensitive, but your clit is a sensitive part of your body and it is, it likes pleasure. It likes pleasure, it likes touch, it likes rubs, it likes pokes, whatever, whatever your girl likes, it likes. What people need to know before diving into buying sex toys and before diving into um, pleasing themselves or trying to teach their partner about how to, um, please them, they must know that your clit has crevices. Your clit has the side, it has the top, it has underneath, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it just has crevices, it has different sides. And depending on you, you may like, you may like the left side to be pleasured or you may like the right side to be pleasured. So the point is you need to find out which side, which crevice, <laughs> which crevice is your favorite so by doing that you can start exploring your body just with your hands figuring out okay does it feel better here or does it feel better here when you do that you want to make sure that you breathe as you're doing it so that all of the blood flow can go to your clitoris oh yeah I'll talk with my hands it's ridiculous before you even want to get into touching yourself you want to make sure that you're aroused because in order for your clit to really be at its most sensitivity it needs to be um, filled with blood it needs to be filled with blood and so it needs to get erect just like a just like a penis it needs to get erect right I always advocate for arousal then stimulation because when when you get aroused and you get that blood flowing your clit is gonna be more sensitive and when your clit is more sensitive you're able to find out which part is which part is the most sensitive when it's already sensitive <laughs> just like for a, a person with a penis when the penis is soft yes you feel pleasure but when the penis is erect don't 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 it feel a little better you know what I'm saying don't it feel a little better same with the female same with the female we need to be we need to have that foreplay. We need to feel that 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 rush of blood. All right, so off of that topic, off of that topic, next topic. When you are pleasing yourself, some spots may feel better than other spots. So, you, like I said before, your left spot may feel better than your right, but it may feel better at different times. So, for example, today, Today, this is when you're exploring your body and really trying to understand yourself. Today, the left side may be on point like anytime you put that vibrator there it's just explosion but then in the next week the right side may be a little bit more sensitive for some reason or the top when you are exploring your body you want to make sure that you're very very patient with yourself and very understanding that okay my body can do whatever it wants for the people who have engaged in penetrative sex um was it great the first time you've had it was it great was it was it perfect was it awesome and if it is awesome that's great but the question is was it better than now right 
So the point of what I'm trying to say is pleasure will feel different to you at different times. So you definitely have to make sure you're patient with yourself and you have to make sure that you are up for exploring at at any time. Even when you think you know your routine, you think you know your spots, always keep trying new things. You never know how your body will react. Sometimes you ever just have something mind blowing, you're just like, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, that was great. You know what I'm saying? Like you want to make sure that, you know, you keep your body up on that anticipation and that you don't just settle for just the left side or settle for just the top. You know, you want to make sure that you just continuously explore. Just because you try something and didn't feel good, that does not mean that it's going to be like that another time, whether whether it's in the next day, whether whether if it's in the next month or a year. You know, always just try it again. A long time ago, I had tried out a toy. And the toy, let me tell you, the toy just, it just wasn't doing nothing. Like, it wasn't doing, like, I don't know what even what it was supposed to do. It was a long time ago. But then, like, I just tried it maybe, maybe like a few years after. I tried it again. I don't even know how that thing was still working, but hello. Um, I tried it again. And let me tell y'all, like, it was mind-blowing. Like, I was like, oh, shoot. I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, this is great. This is great, honey. This is great. So it's just, it's just, that's just, that's just when I think about that, I just think about never give up, never give up, keep on trying. The main thing that I want you guys really to take away is that just remember that you are new to this. You are, whatever you are new to something, you kind of don't know what the hell is going on. You don't know how you're supposed to feel. You, damn, you don't, you don't feel nothing <laughs> sometimes. But when, once you start getting more advanced into something, you start to more, you start to understand your body more. You start to understand, oh, this is, this is what I like. This is, this is what I don't like. This is what is bringing me to the edge. This is what is going to take for me to orgasm. You start to understand those things and those things start to unravel as you begin to um, explore and really just dive into all of your erotic parts because it's not only your clit. Your clit is not the only thing you you must stimulate. That's not, you can stimulate other things. You can stimulate your anus. You can, you can just do so much things. Your, your inner labia is like, there's just so much endless possibilities. <laughs> so much endless possibilities. Your perspective of what sex feels or just pleasing yourself in general can change over time and overnight. So like I said, just keep on exploring. Yeah, so this video is mostly for people who are tr who are like kind of new or not. E even veterans need to know this. E even veterans in the click game got to know this. Um, but the, yeah, this video is for if you're just trying to learn a little bit more on how to please yourself and how to direct someone to please you. Because there's, there's steps to everything. Mm -hmm.